you do, people. So, yeah. When it rains, it pours, okay? So, we are in the middle of, well, we're on the backside now. We had three rounds of ice and snow. And now, I'll be living in a hotel for two weeks. So, we had a catastrophe this morning. Oh, my God. I'm so tired, y'all. I'm so ready for a shower and to lay down. But, um. I woke up this morning, had my cup of coffee, same thing. Then the fire alarm goes off. I'm like, what is that? My mom comes out. I'm like, well, this alarm is going off. We smell no smoke, anything like that. So she took it out to my dad, told my dad about it. He comes in, and he's thinking it's the breaker. So he goes, flips the breaker, breaker, nothing. Um, and he was getting ready to go to work, y'all. So it would have been just me, my mom, and my daughter at home. And then he comes running back in. I'm like, something not right. And so I'll be putting my stuff down because I was working. And um, he's like, call the fire department, call 911. I was like, what? And so I called, did all that, and they come. So, y'all, it was a fire in the attic. They said it was like smoldering. They had been doing it for a while. And I just thank God that. It did not happen like at night. Everything happened in the day. Um, yeah, and the fire chief was like, it, it had been doing it. But let me tell y'all what happened. So the fire alarm in the back was what went off. You know, we didn't think nothing of it. We were like, we don't smell smoke. And, you know, batteries just got changed. And then I go to get dressed for work, and I'm like, hmm, my lights and everything aren't working. You know, that's when I, we, we told my dad, like, okay, that's when we thought it was a breaker. So, um, the chief was talking to my parents, and he was like, well, the smoke detector shorted. The wires were naked. They had no coating on them. They were, and that's what happened. It was the, the fire alarm, the smoke alarm. Um, because it was wired in because my mom used to have a daycare. And so that's how they had to do it. It had to be wired in. And so, um, and then like family members started calling. I'm like, how are y'all finding this out? Because, you know, all I called was 911. <laughs> People nosy, y'all. They got these scanners. They nosy. But, you know, and then, um, so my grandma came over, my uncles. I'm like... <laughs> And a lot of people couldn't get out because it's ice and snow all over the place, like five inches. And I'm in southern Tennessee, right at the Alabama line, y'all. But um, the fire department, police, everybody showed up within like five minutes, probably less than five minutes. Um, I live in a small town, so, but, but less than five minutes. Um, and like... Now, where they put us, you know, insurance, everything, they put us up in a hotel. So, we're staying in the hotel right now, um, and they're treating us well. We have a very nice room, um, and I don't think I've ever said My mom was a city official, and I was a deputy, <laughs> but so, like, we are well-known in our town, but they are, they're, they're treating us very well, and so now, Zaria and I are here, um, we just had us some little Caesar's pizza. That low carb stuff is gone up out of here. But we just had us some pizza and stuff. So I'm probably getting ready to take a shower. She wants to go work out, but mommy can't work out today because I was running. And if y'all don't know, I had I told my Achilles in 2013. So it still gives me some problems. That was one of the reasons why I didn't pass the police academy. But I tore my Achilles, and so sometimes it I think I aggravated today because I was running and but um what helped us is I, that might be a separate video but I'm gonna tell y'all be prepared because last month I packed us two ready bags one for Zaria and one for myself and I brought a fire um proof safe y'all and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all 
the fireproof safe and everything, okay? Um, but yeah, that's what happened. So if y'all could just, you know, say a prayer for us, keep us in your prayers. It's gonna be okay, we good. Um, I'll insert a picture, but it's water damage. Um, like in my mom's bedroom, her ceiling, cause like it was in the attic. Um, so it's a big hole in her ceiling in her room. And um, in my room, over my bed, the ceiling fan, it's water it was dripping from there. So my bed and mattress and stuff is, you know, that I have to be taken care of. But hey, we all made it out safe. We're good. Um, and it's just crazy, y'all. You know, I lost everything I had on Christmas Day in 2017 from a house fire. And actually, December the 4th, of 2020 my sister lost everything she had in the fire and it's like oh my god like what is it you know but everybody's alive you know stuff can be replaced you know i replaced all my stuff through you know the community everybody that can be replaced but lives cannot be replaced so we are grateful and thankful for that but yeah that was just a little update y'all so like i said i've been taking a shower and relax Zari has been talking all day. She ain't stopped one time. I thought I'd sit down. But, so yeah, but y'all remember every day is a good day to have a good day. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.